Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medina's. So I seem to have got things straightened away. It looks like we got a no problems recording the last episode. So this episode, I'm just going to continue on recording. Um, we have made a jump now, a double jump to Electra. I'll show you where we are in the navigation star map here. And I avoided going to the Flashpoint for now. Uh, I'm going to try to block Brockway one, I think, after this mission or after this episode. Um, we jumped into Electra here in the Pleiades cluster. Uh, just the, the uh, not Maya here, it's the one in the center here. It's really hard to target. But it was only a 17 day jump. We had 18 days to our financial report. So we're going to just jump in here real quick today. And what we're going to do is we're going to head down to the surface, raid a Davian facility, grab it for as much sea bills as we possibly can, and get the heck out. So that's the goal for today. Now, a um, couple things. Mech bays. The Jager mech is down still. So I'm thinking the Ultra Auto Cannon 5 is a fail. Uh, we do have a PPC right now that we bought in the last episode that we could drop in. Um, and I could get this guy up and running, but it's going to take us several days. So we've got enough mechs to handle what we're going to be doing today. So I'm not really worried about the, having the Jager mech for this. But what I think I'll do is in the store here, there's a couple things I want to pick up, I think. Um, so having a quick look in the store, if we go down here. Uh, so we have another one of those PPCs. Uh, we did have the Jager mech set up with two of these guys before. So I think that's what we'll do again, is we'll buy a second one after today's mission. If it's successful and we have a lot of sea bills, we'll buy this. Um, and probably buy this exchanger as well. Um, because what I want to do is we have a PPC capacitor. So probably what I'll do is I'll drop two of these PPCs, the PPC capacitor, exchanger, and stuff in there, um, and get that up and running. I think that's what we'll do. There's also a melee gyro here. Um, but I don't think we're going to get that, but we might pick up the weapon mount here, plus three accuracy weapon mount. Uh, it's always nice having these, so we'll probably buy this as well. But uh, we'll see how the mission goes first, um, just to see how much sea bills we have on hand. Uh, we do have to go through a financial report right after this when we jump, but I think we're, we should probably do okay on this. So, um, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Also, one other thing, if we go to the mech base real quick. Um, we did have a targeting computer. Now, I don't remember if that was what I selected from the mission that didn't record before the last episode uh, but we did we did have a targeting computer so i dropped it in the head of um the victor so we have plus one targeting now i took his injury helmet and i threw it in the hunchback i think 4j yeah the injury cockpit with plus one initiative so now um uh, we're just missing i think one cockpit no we've yeah, everyone's got a cockpit now yeah so we're all good with everybody so yeah that's kind of how it is so yeah, so we're gonna drop down to the surface, um, capture that facility, and uh, fight off any defenders that come to, to try and stop us, and then loot it and get the heck out of here. So I'll see everybody down on the surface. Okay, y'all, stay frosty. Stay frosty, this place is like, who fights over a place like this? All right, so we're gonna go and raid this base. All right. What do we got? Uh. Okay, good. We got opposition first. I was hoping for the uh, easiest amount of opposition. We're not going to have a lot of time to, to take a lot of salvage. But we will have time to steal whatever's in the warehouses here, so that's what we're going to do. Let's get this hunch pack moving. So, Steve, I've put in the uh, hunch pack with the MMLs, the new loadout. No sense in taking the mechs from anybody else. So it's got a PPC, bonus medium laser, a couple of MMLs, and a, and a flamer. So it's it's a it's an okay loadout. I don't want to say it's a good loadout, but for this mech, it's I think it's probably going to operate a little better than those uh, MRM 20s. The MRM 20s were notoriously inaccurate. So the only thing they work really well against is like in place turrets and stuff. So and it looks like we got turrets here as well. All right, we're going to um, I'm here. start this off. Uh, maybe not. Let's just go here so they can't see us. I'm going to lure them away from the turrets. Deal with the turrets secondary. Standing by. Still, we can get eyes on. Yeah, we might as well with the PPCs. That's a locust dam. It's fodder. Let's start with a good alpha strike. 
Okay, not bad. Arm and torso gone. Inflicted some heavy damage. Hopefully we'll be able to finish this guy up. Yeah, direct fire. Full I mean, the other thing that we could do is put the load the second hunchback out the same as we got this guy loaded out with the exception we don't think we have another ER medium laser but we could put like three medium lasers and two PPCs and this other hunchback too right that's a possibility but this is the one that's got the uh, missile launchers on it so don't need the flamer nice thanks for coming out buddy We want to get some dead fire ammo, I think, for this uh, Hunchback too. I think these MMLs will only really be good if we have um, dead fire ammo. I think this guy's got three three missile hard points, I think he's got, in the torso here. Um, the other thing we could do is pull out one of the, the MML7 from the crab and put it in with these, and take the dead fire ammo from the crab and put it in as well. That's another thought for loadout. The Jager mech is tricky. I mean, unless you've got, like, a pair of Ultra 10s would be great on the Jager mech. With some medium lasers as backups, but... Yeah. Why do you like Steve so much, man? It's like, that's the player. Let's kill him first. Well, thank you very much. I love you, too. Alright, well, you're not really the scout, but you're going to be a scout today. Let's move up. Let's not move too far forward though. Just enough so we can see these guys. And we've got a Valkyrie, ER medium laser, Firestarter K, large and two flamers. It's 55. What's the chance to hit this guy? Let's take the better chance to hit. Neither of these guys is really too much of a threat, but. Locking in all weapon systems. I like the flamers less than I like the. Uh, oh, well, there we go. Then I like the LRM-15 on this hot terrain, but uh, that's fine. Let's just move into here. No one here is really a threat right now. I think those were misses. Yeah. Light damage, Commander. Yeah, I don't know if the turret can see me there, so I'm going to move over here. I think we'll probably be safe. I don't want any direct fire yet. Might as well throw the flamer up. So this build is actually pretty heat efficient too. Nice. I mean, we're on a hot terrain and we fired twice now and we're still only up here. We can fire three more times with full weapons and, and still be under, I think. Alright. Show this guy what a Thunderbolt 20 looks like up close. He's going down! You're dead next turn, buddy. Sucks to be you. Yeah, he still got... I forgot the uh, sensor lock is like two turns. Wow, only one hit with all that. Yeah, I forgot indirect fire gives you like really bad chances to hit. Alright, so let's start this off. We need to get on these turrets as well. So we're going to move up here. We're going to finish off the guy on the ground. What's the turrets like here? Laser, sniper turret, VSPL, binary laser. we got to kill this guy. Um, so we're going to split our fire. Yeah. We're going to split our fire and we're going to go with maybe four on B and four on A. So let's fire these. Aye. Ah, still not a kill. Oh, we got a head hit though. Nice. All right, so let's move forward and what do we got here? Sorry, I just had to feel the Minecraft question there for a second. Uh, right, let's target this. 
U and U and put these on B and those to A. Multiple targets confirmed. Well, I want to make sure we got that turret. Take this guy out, hopefully. Yep. One last target. All right, Steve. Get eyes on the other turret. Let's do that. You need to secure the area oh, shut the hell up, Darius. Yeah, so am I. There's like a guy up here, but I don't care. I understand why people have that shut up Darius mod now. I know he's needed there for a reason, but you should you should have the ability in game to select what information he gives you. Because the ambush messages are like you're like really really. Kind of an experienced mech pilot here. Why are you telling me I need to be wary of an ambush? I know what we're up against. Trebuchet, 7k. I think we got trebuchet parts. Um, pair of LRM-15s. Ultra AC-2s. PPC. I think we're going to go this route, save a bit of heat. I'm not going to bother multi-targeting, we're just going to fire straight on this guy. Wow, it missed with one. You destroyed a building, man. I hope you didn't destroy the stuff we came here to get. Dude. Dude. I think we can take this one out now. Maybe, we'll see what happens. We're going to fire everything on it. Ah, pretty good damage. Got five of them. Yeah. Receiving you. Uh, let's get into direct fire. This guy's got how much left? So nothing a thunderbolt couldn't cure. So we're gonna multi-target. And let's do this. Roger. That should take care of that guy. Yep. That's got to That's got to really suck. How fast that thunderbolt goes is really slow. And sitting in that turret watching this missile or just approaching you, it's like and knowing that you can't get out in time. At least with the PPC, it's like it's it's pretty much instantaneous. Our lasers are pretty much instantaneous. But that watching that missile travel across. Knowing it's coming for you. Alright, let's just fire everything on here to make sure we kill it. Yeah, see? Where that PPC's going? I don't know where. It's a good thing we just didn't multi-target. That's why I'm kind of shy about multi-targeting now. I'm finding that we don't get good kills. See, he's running away. Where are you going? <laughs> Dude! Come on, we just want to play. Where... We're really nice people, honestly. Let's get into the base. Hi. Honestly, we're really nice. Oh, he's coming back. See, he wants to play now. Okay, now I'm not going to be nice, though. That was like, you hit with everything. Armor low. Yeah, go. thanks for that. Affirmative. Show them why we're here, guys. Nice. Going down. Oh, the sounds are so much... so just glorious. Don't know what your speakers are like, but... You can hear, like... The, the the creaking of the metal as it goes down and now too when you destroy them you kill the engine you can hear the engine whirring down as they die it's so enjoyable there we go thank you 
See, now that message is valuable. We needed a turn to cool down. Didn't get it. That's alright, though. We'll take it. We'll forcefully take the turn to cool down. Taking a turn to cool down. Da -na -na -na. All right, here's the hunchback, such as it is so far. What's up, boss? On the move. All right, nice and cool. Should be four guys, two down here, two up here. Moving pretty slow, which either leads me to believe they're like crappy pilots or. Uh, Medium to heavy mechs. This is rated at about two skulls, so I can't see them being heavies. Let's see what we're up against on this side. Yeah, this looks like crap. Wasp. And a cicada. Let's just fire straight in the cicada. One of the PPCs went somewhere. I have no idea where it went. I think we're, we're touting a lot of them because certainly need them to be able to land one or two. Especially at like having high percentages. I can't get over how many misses we had on Cold Forge there with like 90 some odd percentage chance to hit getting misses. But then again, I have to say, too, there's been several times when I've hit with a super low percentage chance to hit, so I can't really argue. Oh, that's probably a bushwhacker. We gotta find out fast. I'm receiving you. Give me some eyes on, Hellcat. See what we're up against right, on this side, please. That's an assassin. LB5X. Okay, that's interesting. And a hatchet man, that guy's got to die. He can't get close. Alright, everything on this guy first. Yeah, man, the hatchet man. That guy hits you and you're in like, big trouble. Got to avoid the hatchet. How's this guy doing here? Hmm. 73%. It's about the same. A little better with the medium laser on this guy, so we'll take this guy on. Should probably try and get rid of this assassin, so we can just focus on the hatchetman down here. Here he comes. He's gonna brace, probably. Nope. Now, what AC does he have? AC 10. See, that's nasty. Ready for order. It's just nasty. Let's get into here. I copy. Keep ourselves sheltered from these guys. Just target this guy straight out. We want to get rid of this guy. Yeah. Thunderbolt for the win, man. Now, we do have another Thunderbolt 22 as well, so be nice to... Outfit that on somebody else. I think we have another uh, Artemis system too sitting around. Unless that was one of the missions that didn't get recorded properly and we don't have that. Okay, so we want to draw that hatchetman in because we want to get um, Hellcat here behind the hatch hatchetman and just la medium laser up its back. I don't think the Hellcat's got a lot of um, armor on the back. Or it's not the Hellcat, the uh, um, Hatchetman. Let's take a look here real quick. Yeah, it's got low back armor. So a nice rave back attack on the thing would uh, should do it. Nice justice, I think. It's back up here. On my way. Maybe we start off on this 99%, really? What's this guy got? Does he have an XL engine? A light engine. 
Uh, let's multi-target this out. Gonna go here and here. B is gonna get the PPCs to, to screw up his sensors. Just want to stress the assassin out a little bit. Oh, head hit. Nice. Yes. Where do we hit there? Leg hit. We can take that leg. We don't have to worry about it. Um, that's going to put you in hatch, hatchet, in hatchet range here. That, you'll probably be okay here. It's got to come through the trees. So let's move back here. Let's finish up this guy. Uh, yeah, just go all CT. See what we get. Wait, that was this what? But oh, I'm looking at. <laughs> I was looking at 7.7 .7 here. I thought 7.7. .7, what? 74. That's a little better. Well, it's not finishing him up, but it's sure as hell making him drop a load in his pants. Well, we got him all over. It looks like. Share the damage for the win. Take a step back. Get some chevrons of evasion. Dump everything into this guy. Let's try and finish him up. Don't shoot the hunchback in the back, dude! Enemy down. <laughs> okay, here comes the hatchet. We should be able to get a back attack next turn. He is unstable, although I think he just walked, so... Yeah. Alright, Steve, a little bit of flanking, please. I might be within range of his attack here. But we're going to dump everything on this guy. Did we get the arm? No. That's the other thing, too, is we could try and take his arm. Okay, here comes the wasp. Won't matter. I won't be here next turn anyway. I like the neon green on this guy. It's subtle, but it's there, you know? Alright, Hellcat. Can we get behind him? We can't. He goes on 17. Go on 18, 19, and 16. So we got three guys before him. Let's just move in here. See if we can at least take this side. Um, just leave one, two medium lasers off. Okay, we don't have to worry about the hatchet now. And the right torso. And, uh, yeah. He's... <laughs> or him. <laughs> Alright. Really shouldn't laugh, but that was pretty funny. <laughs> the damage just kind of incrementally went inward. <laughs> and he finally exploded. Where are you going? No. Okay, good. All right, I know. Uh, let's get up here. What do we got? Chances here. Pretty good chances on that guy. Pretty good on that time. Let's, let's multi-target this out. And we're going to put everything on B with the exception of Thunderbolt. See if we can take out the Chicada with the Thunderbolt. We might get lucky. Well, blow the whole, most of this side up, I guess. Tearing that wasp a new one. You should probably just kill the Chicada first. Can we get a... There we go. We can get a direct line of sight on him. Let's finish this guy up. He's going down. No? It's not going down? I thought I took his leg. Did I not? Oh, I almost took his leg. He's got seven in each leg. <laughs> this wasp, man, you're just running into the valley of death. You gotta stay out of here, dude. I think the one thing they should add to the game, though, uh, if they want to make it a little more realistic, is give the opposition a way out. So if they're if the battle is going really badly against them, then they take the opportunity to leave the battlefield, and they have an exit point where they can get out. 
So it forces you to kill them faster to get salvage. Um, but it also makes it a little more realistic. So if, for instance, you're capturing a base or whatever, they're not fighting to the last man. Because honestly, would this guy really stick around here? No. Right? What's the wasp going to do against three hunchbacks and a victor? Nothing. Neither with the cicada. So they, at that point, when they realize the Hatchetman and the Assassin have gone down, they should be making a break for it, because there's no point in staying, right? Ordered. Or at least giving them a higher chance to bail out, because this is just suicide. There it is, folks. Here comes the leopard with Sumeri. Let's loot this place and get out and go home. Yeah, because if they give the enemy a, 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 a place to retreat to, I was just thinking that um, what would then happen is for those missions where you have to eliminate uh, mechs to get a bonus, you'd have to chase them down to do that, right? Um, and if they're highly maneuverable, it's going to make it even harder to get to get all the kills on them that you need to get. And then those missions where it doesn't really matter, at least look at all the friggin' jump jets, are you kidding me? Um... On the missions that it doesn't matter, then, you know, it gives you the freedom to finish it up without having to worry about, um, you know, f like killing everybody because it, it just kind of gets a little boring sometimes. All right, so End of Steel is really the only choice. Hey, Hatchetman part and a Valkyrie part, nice. Hey, a lower arm too, nice. We needed arms. Okay, 21,000. You know, I was just thinking too that the dynamics of the game are already there like if you're doing one of those assassinate missions for instance and you know you do some damage to the main guy it's like our target is bugging out and he's leaving right you could do the same thing with like another lance of mechs right so you know the reinforcements arrive and you're supposed to kill them or whatever they take a certain amount of damage or a certain number of mechs go down and then they attempt to bug out you know, that would kind of be cool, I think. And then you'd be forced to, like, hunt them down before they get away, right? So, yeah, I mean, just a, just an idea for the dynamic behind the game. All right, so we don't have to worry about the financial port right away, but we did make a ton of sea bills off this mission, which is excellent. Very little repair time. Um, the mechs will be back. So let's have a look now. I'm going to go to the store. I think what I'll do is I will do the PPC build for the... Jager mech again. We're going to go back to the double PPCs. Let's buy this one. New weapon systems and then let's go to the equipment and let's buy the exchanger because we're going to need that for sure. And we're going to buy the weapon mount just so we have it sitting around. Now I'm assuming like this is a terrible price but we're going to buy it from here anyway just so we have it. New uh, and that's it. We're going to buy those. So we're going to jump this episode. Um, we got we don't have enough mechs to really go down, so I'm gonna lay out. Actually, let's do that real quick right now. Let's lay out. Let's lay out this Jager mech at the end of this episode here. So let's refit this. So we're getting this guy up and running before we get to the next mission. Okay, so let's repair everything and pull the Ultra Fives out. I'm gonna pull the machine guns out for now as well. Maybe we go with a version with like no ammo on it this time. We can take the case out. Pull the flamer out. Uh, the TTS Ballista can now come out and the Energy 1 can go in the head. Uh, Guardian ECM, let's put that in the CT for now. And let's pull out one of the medium lasers. So let's start off. Oops, weapons. We want to go to our PPCs. I'm going to drop one on each torso. And put our accuracy medium laser in for now. And let's go to equipment. We've got uh, the PPC capacitor, which we want to use. So we're going to drop that in. Um, and our exchanger, which we definitely need to drop in. Uh, I'm thinking it's probably, at the moment anyway, easier to get Guardian ECMs than it is to get an exchanger. So let's leave that there. In the CT, we have our double heatsink kit in. And we're really hurting for heat right now. Well, actually, not that bad. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So we'll be doing 72 damage with each PPC, roughly, I think. 15% is, what, 6.5 plus... 3.25 is 9. So it's almost 10 more damage. So 74 damage of PPC. So that's actually pretty good overall. Yeah. Um, Fusion Core, we got a 260 in there right now. That's fine. Um, 
Pharaoh in there. Yeah, so let's look at then. Maybe we do leave the uh, light machine guns in. In which case, what we'd want to do is move that over there. And then, okay, light machine gun, other light machine gun. Half load of ammo in here with case, leaving it in here. Uh, and then let's look at our heat sinking. We don't have any double heat sinks, unfortunately, but we got a ton of regular ones which we can drop in. Let's go with legs. And then three left, like one, two, and three, I think. So how are we doing here? 84, 83, pretty good. Is that actually including the 20% increase in PPC heat? So these are 36, 72, and 11 is 83. Yeah, it's not including it. 93, 94, 95, 105, minus 10%. So 95. So it's that 95 heat. We don't have any more reductions anywhere. So yeah, 95 heat, and we've got cooling of, so we've got 60 for the core, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 3 is 24, is 84, so that's all we've got, 95, 84, so not, I mean we don't, ah, I don't know. I don't know. I think we're probably okay. Let's leave it for now. See how we do. Uh, we, we should get another TTS at some point. Give us more accuracy. But we're pretty good here. These these two are pretty accurate. And the arms aren't giving us any accuracy at all. So it's not like not having the PPCs in the arms is actually changing anything. So, all right. Let's confirm this. It's a 10 days. 17,000. It's like really nothing to do this. So not as good as I was hoping, but... It's a start now, back to the Jager mech. Um, it's actually, if you think about it, the damage is comparable to the Hunchback. And the Hunchback's like 15 tons lighter. So, I mean, I don't know. We'll leave it for now, see how it does. The fact that it's got more armor is really helpful. Alright, so we're going to jump uh, systems um, between episodes here. And what we'll do... Um, I was thinking about doing that flashpoint, but I'm wondering if it might not be the case at this moment. But I'll have a look at a system that's fairly close by. We'll stick near the the uh, the um, flashpoints, maybe to get one of those knocked off. Maybe not ex next episode, but maybe the one after, uh, and we'll see how it goes. So if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't uh, subscribed, please feel free to do so. And until next time, we'll see you all later.